700 Club Asia, and we have on the show Kata, a very good friend of the ministry. Mat matagal na rin siyang naging guest dito uh, several times at ngayon na lang ulit. Medyo matagal na. We have to do it more often. Thank you very much <laughs> for being here, Father Archie Gariba. God bless you, Father it's Archie. Yes, yes. Ito po si Father Archie. He's a Catholic priest. He's well known for his exuberant faith in Christ and healing ministry. And let's welcome you to the show, Father Archie. Praise God. I'm very, Thank very you. happy and very glad to be here. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure. Siguro, before anything, Peter, I'd like to mention lang kasi may healing ministry si Father Archie. Oh, and yes. In this Holy Week, you have an event at Araneta Coliseum. Yeah, Would you like right. to invite them first, Father Archie? First so, things first. Yeah, this is uh, going to be on March 24, 25, and 26. At 2 p.m., doon po tayo sa Smart Araneta Coliseum. And everybody's welcome. Yeah. And uh, regardless of what denominational tag or religion, God is a welcoming God. And uh, like... Uh, John 3.16 tells us very articulately, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes, dare to believe in Him, may not perish but may have everlasting life. Everybody's welcome. 2 p.m. po yan at the Smart Araneta Coliseum, March 24, 25, and 26. Maaga-aga po ang ating Holy Week. Mm -hmm. And so let's enjoy in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 Kids. <laughs> Amen. Father Archie, Lenten celebration in the Philippines, which is a mix of Christian and pagan practices, has become a, a tourist attraction, lalo That's na yung right. flagellation that takes place all over the country. Uh, ngayon, the Catholic Church has something to say about that. No? I, kayo naman po, an, ano ba yung take nyo dyan? Uh, this is really part of the history of our country. And, you know, when you speak about history, it's always deeply embedded. Mm -hmm. Malalim po ang ugat niyan sa kultura natin. But just the same, alam ko po na talagang sa pamamagitan ng salita ng Diyos, lahat po ay makakalaya. Wow, I think that's Psalms 119, where it says in verse 98, uh, uh, it says that uh, we must learn the Word of God uh, powerfully and uh, it is... Uh, through His commandments, mm -hmm. we will be knowing mm -hmm. more and more about the Lord. And that uh, we can even be better than the ancients mm -hmm. because they have known, like the Pharisees and the scribes who have known the Word of God, but uh, they, have, they did not have the capacity to receive. Yes, so, yung yes. pong problema ang napaka-tindi. So, Father, yung ganun pong practice, masasabi ba natin na yung gumagawa ng mga pagpepenitensya, makakabuti po ba sa kanila yon o mas makakasama pa pala? Ah, ang tingin ko dyan, huwag kayong magagalit mga kapatid, dahil matindi po yon. You are just punishing your, your bodies, temple of the Holy Spirit. Sipin mo yon, tapos paparusahan mo. Jesus did it already. Amen. Deep in my heart, even as a Catholic priest. Ito po ang tunay at talagang uh, tumpak na salita ng Diyos. And I know that uh, those who receive Jesus, you will be exempted from such a torture, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, sabi nga ni Paul, even if I should give my body to be burned but have no love, I'm simply nothing at all. Mm -hmm. So, naku mo, gumising na po tayo mga kababayan at talagang the time now, this is now the scripture time, 21st century. Let's go back to the Word of God. So, Father Archie, kung hindi po yung pagpipenitensya or flagellation, ano po yung pinakamainam na gawin ng ating mga kababayan in order for them naman to to exercise their faith, no? to, to show their love for Christ, to show their need for God. Yun. Mm -mm. Napakagandang tanong yun kasi we have to go back to the Word of God. Fellowshipping is extremely important. Actually, sa Christian life po, I believe with all of my heart, because Jesus did it already 2,000 years ago, all we have to do is believe. Amen. The key. Tinanong si Jesus minsan, what must I do, Lord, to attain eternal life? What must I do to, be, to, to receive you? Ang sagot niya, the works that you must do is to, do is to believe whom the Father has sent. Amen. Tsaka, Father, you know, the, the best way to, to uh, celebrate Holy Week is to re really reflect uh, on what Jesus did on the cross. Oh. Reflect on your life. How are you living your life? Are you, are you living your life pleasing Him? Uh, just like every time we receive communion, we're, we're told to remember, you know, what mm -hmm. Jesus did on the cross. And it's only when we remember that we, we can fully uh, understand the extent of His love and the extent of His sacrifice and what He did, you know, right. out of love. And all of this 
is free. Like sinabi mo kanina, Absolutely. all we need to do is just receive it, accept it. So, uh, yun, yun lang, we don't need okay. to add anymore kasi tapos na. Okay. Ginawa na niya okay. lahat. Uh -huh. Father Archie, isa pa pong tradisyon, no, itong Simahan na Santa, yung pagbibisita <coughs> iglesia. I think pitong simbahan pa nga yata ang dapat bisitahin. Eh. Uh, mainam po bang practice ito? May, may masama ba dito? O ano hong kabutihan po ng paggawa noon? For historical purposes, siguro, it's good to reminisce the past, you know? Okay. But, uh, if you try to go there to gain, you know, salvation and all of that, eh, kaya nga napakaganda mga kapatid. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, it says, For by grace are you saved through faith. Amen. Wow. Not by works. Oh, kita mo? Lest any man should boast, it is a freely given gift from God. Sarap ng buhay talaga, no? Libre po na ibinigay ni Lord and it's available for those who will dare to believe. Kaya po, napakasarap ng buhay talaga. Lagi ko pong sinisigaw yan dahil salamat meron si Jesus na hindi nagkasala ay naging kasalanan upang tayo na makasalanan ay mapawalang sala. Wow. Amen. More. Father Archie, there's uh, a lot of Filipinos have, have lots of different ways, different symbols uh, about their faith. And among this is the crucifix, the statue of uh, Virgin Mary, Santo Nino, meron din Black Nazarene, meron din Filipino-Chinese na merong, andan yung crucifix, andun din yung Buddha. You know, siguro ang belief nila, mabuti na lang, you know, I, 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 ha I have both, you know? Siguro so, <laughs> oh, di ba? Ganun tayo, mga ibang Pinoy, Pinoy ganun, medyo sigurista. So, uh, what do you say about that? Magaling na sigurista nga. At, uh, but I know that once na kilala talaga natin ang ating Panginoon, yung totoo talaga, you will be so focused on Him. Nothing mat Amen. matters. Nandun na lahat eh. Sabi nga ng uh, scriptures, siya ay mapanibuguin. God is a jealous God. Gusto niya siya lang. Amen. Oo. And when we do that, uh, it's all for our benefit na talagang uh, sabi nga ng Jeremiah, sumpain ang taong nagtitiwala sa kapwa-tao. Ibig sabihin, it doesn't mean of course na wala na tayong kaibigan. Right. But uh, the thing is, yung kaibigan mo, kahit asawa mo pa nga, anything, anybody, first pa rin si Lord. Sabi ng isang writer, na the battle of life is for your mind and the battle of the mind is for your focus. So ang tanong, saan ba talaga ang focus natin? Yan ba'y kalat-kalat or... Are we being deceived by the enemy instead of wholeheartedly? I think the Apostle Paul was so passionate and obsessed with the, the fact that God has called him a very, very spirit, even though he persecuted the church at that mm -hmm. time. But uh, he said, Wala na akong ibang tututukan kung hindi si Lord. Lahat ay ipa. Everything is husks compared to the glory that will be revealed by the Lord. Father, uh, Father Archie, ano po ang paninindigan ng simbahang katoliko patungkol po doon sa pagluhod, pagsamba, or pag-revere pag, uh, ng mga imahe po? Kinaugalian na through the many centuries, abanggit ko nga po na our tradition should be baptized by the Word of God. Sorry. Yung talagang ultimate standard natin, no matter how seemingly beautiful, kasi kapag sanay ka na <laughs> to a protracted long history, pakakala mo totoo eh. Mm -hmm. Oo. Yes. Are you Kaya, saying it's, a, it's time now that medyo baguhin na yung tradisyon yun? Yun. At... Okay. Yun na yun. <laughs> Kaya nga po, salamat sa Diyos, meron po tayong... Uh, and for me, huwag kayong magagalit. Ako po isang katolikong Franciscanong pare. But deep within my spirit, I have to say what is right. And I know, hindi po ma matutuwa si Lord kung ako'y wish you wash you with my words, no? Kailangan straight po. At uh, maraming matutuwa dahil it's the word of God. It's not my word, it's not our word, but it is His word. At mabagsik po yung pagtumama. That's also my passion to be able to relate to others. Amen.
Tak ada 